My trust in INEC has diminished, says Peter Obi. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The recent National Assembly and presidential elections, according to Labour Party's presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, were an exhibition of motion without progress in Nigeria's political landscape. Notwithstanding several contentious judgments on various issues, he nevertheless voiced the highest fate in Nigeria's judicial system. Speaking as a guest on Thursday's Sunrise Show on tele Channels Television, Obi stated that the only things that can salvage this nation are truth and justice, since the justices and Nigerians are aware of how dire the situation has been here. They, the justices, want to better Nigeria for themselves and their children, and that can only happen if they act morally and are honest with the populace about all circumstances, Obi added. I personally have no reason to question the courts. Politicians like me are determined to taint every facet of our society. Nevertheless, Obi criticized the Independent National Electoral Commission, Zainek, for failing to communicate the presidential election results in real time via its web page, claiming that the way the 2023 poll was conducted devalued the nation. Because of the electoral law of 2022, which inspired such promise, and the significant investment we made in technology, we likely witnessed what I believe to be the worst election in recent memory according to the former, of gov or former governor of Anambra State. All of this, he claimed, occurred despite the enormous sum that was allocated for the election. The process fell short of expectations. Are you aware of what spending over $1 billion means? And a lot of things were promised, and then things resumed as they had been before. It is really heartbreaking to me. He insisted that everyone put so much stress on the legislation and the technology and said that the exercise failed when you promise so much and don't even reach the basics. On the broadcast, Obi added, whenever an election is declared globally, what it does is that it raises the ratings of that community. He claims that the way the presidential election was conducted had further damaged the spirit of young people who had invested so much faith in the outcome. Obi responded to the question of how he would feel if the country decided to maintain the status quo by saying that he would be, he would be startled if he did. The former governor of Anambra State said it is discouraging that the continent's superpower cannot conduct a straightforward election while smaller countries like Ghana can do so with little margin for error and larger countries like India can do so with less than 5%. Obi stated once more that he is contesting the procedure and the declaration and that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, claim is untrue. With what they did on February 25th, laying up a norm for the election and then discarding it in the middle of the game, my faith in INEC has vanished. According to him, the majority of Nigerians have given INEC a vote of no confidence since everyone could see that they made a lot of promises but could not keep even the most basic ones. The LP candidates for president compared what INET did on February 25th to a restaurant that promised a delectable feast but only delivered a la carte. The LP candidate who has contested Bolatinobu of the All Progressive Congress, APC, being declared the winner of the election is confident in obtaining justice. We can't continue in this manner, he said, adding that while he wasn't personally upset or disappointed, he was for the nation and the future it portended for the next generation of children. We need to create and leave them with a brighter future. Obi declared that justice is on course to be served. Obi advised his followers to support Labour Party candidates in their states and to cast their ballots in favor of a new Nigeria while keeping competence, character, capacity and capacities in mind. Let's take some comments. Somebody said, emotional feelings, politics, 
If it's not true, it need not be anybody. I didn't get that. Another person said, um, likewise myself. Mahmoud, the INEC chairman and entire INEC failed Nigerians woefully. It is such a shame that we could, in 2023, conduct this kind of election that is so, so shabbily conducted. Mahmoud should be ashamed of this. Another said, INEC is just acting fake. Their shame is shaming me. Okay, so let's take a stop on that. And um, just decide to tell ourselves that if Peter Obi is telling us now that his faith or trust in INEC has diminished, that could be the thought of more than 70% of Nigerians, if they want to be truthful to themselves, who saw how the elections were conducted, how hastily the president elect was announced, while coalition was incomplete in a lot of places several days after the election and um, after the first of march declaration of bola tinumbu as the president-elect a lot of people are still angry and upset that you know why why the ori why the why did they have not to use the beavers after promising nigerians even few hours to the elections that of course they, there's no problem and they are all set and that the beavers will be used. This is actually very shameful as a nation to say over $1 billion expended on the election is just what we are seeing on paper, using paper ballots and using plastic containers as ballot boxes in 2023. We seem to be taking 10 steps forward and 30 steps backwards and of course you know in nigeria well some people have said okay mahmoud yakubu should resign as the INEC chairman because of the very woeful performance as the you know chairman of the independent national electoral committee but in nigeria we know that you know public office holders do not they really do resign even when things are not going well unlike in other places where we like to compare our countries to when they see that things are not, you know, in accordance, they just want to maintain their integrity and all of that. But that is alien to us here in our beautiful country called Nigeria. So for Peter B to say this, a lot of youth are actually discouraged to say, do we need to come out again to vote on Saturday, 18th of March, 2023, for the governorship uh, elections? Because the politicians have their way of allegedly turning things the way they want it to turn. It's a case of do whatever you want to do, but we know what we want to do. But we cannot just continue like this as a country. And whatever we get right in Nigeria resonates across the African countries. Because whether we like it or not, we are at the forefront when we are talking about African countries on this continent. Head. What's your opinion? Please drop your comments in the comment section below. What's your own level of trust with the Independence National Electoral Commission? Are you still very hopeful? Do you trust them 100% you know, with their processes and also with the way they are going to conduct the 18th of March election where they have promised us that they are going to use the beavers? We hope it's not going to end up with stories as the presidential um, election went. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye for now.